here, guys. Um, million dollar store, and I just give y'all a little. Um, if y'all notice, I'm not gonna say nothing, but y'all seen that. So I'm not gonna say nothing. And I'm supposed to be trying to get a job. Like that. I don't know about that. So I'm at the dollar store, and just in case y'all didn't see it, it's not major. It's just a simple fact that some people is really, 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 really extremely ignorant. That's all. Really ignorant. So. It just don't make no sense. So if y'all didn't see it, I'm going to tell you what happened. They, The guy must have heard me, heard me talking, right? Now I'm talking to you guys, right? Now, this is what I mean by, now you're, you're mad because I said something about how people bag your stuff up when you go to stores or how, uh, uh, and I even finished talking about that. That's why I said I'm going to write an essay about all these different types of bullies and different places where you get bullied at and don't even realize it. Okay, like the dollar store, these people that don't want to work. You know, there's a lot of companies, you know, you go to McDonald's and shit, right? So for all the McDonald's lovers, Burger King lovers, all you fast food lovers, and I'm a dollar store lover, and not because it's cheap, because they got some good snacks there, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to pay like uh, $8 for no damn bag of chips, you know what I'm saying, like that. So certain things they have is better than the grocery store. That's all. But I don't go for real food for there. But I'm getting off topic. Nah, but the, the, the thing is, you only proved me right. Like, what are you doing? Like, you like being an asshole? You like being a dickhead? I was working at Taco Bell, and this manager named Albert, and I don't give a fuck if he don't like it, if somebody ever watches it, I don't give a fuck. This is named Albert. Yes, he's the general manager there. And I was working there, right? One of the only black people there, right? He had another black guy there. All right now, my occupation was a teacher before I came here. This was about three years ago. Hey, what's up, y'all? Jay. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back. Like, oh, crap. Hope my hair looks like it's okay. <laughs> I got Michael Jackson going out on. Now, I had to get a. Uh, Fresh some fresh air. It's super nice out there. I don't know why I got this big ass jacket on. To be honest with you. Yeah, but my little ignorant brother is snapping in the house. He does this shit every day. So I was just like, you know what? Let me go get some air, too. I ain't trying to hear all this shit. That shit is annoying. I'm hearing that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, stay positive. When you're around negative people, man, you gotta ignore the ass. Stay silent. I'm gonna take them words and take them from heat. Cause I almost started to say something a couple times. Talking to my mom. Really, really aggressively. Like what I do, I mean I used to, you know, it's not good. I'm not no, I'm not no angel. Some of y'all might be like, oh, but I'm beating y'all to the punch because I keep it real all the time. I do get out of my mouth, where well, I used to get out of my mouth. When my mom getting older, and that's not no excuse, I should never did it in the first place. It's just that I never came at her like an aggressive manner. Seriously, like, I might say something, but I won't like. You know how when you about to fight another boy, you know what I mean? Two, two guys about to fight. You know how that is. You know what I'm saying? He be treating his own family members like, like uh, street people and shit. So I'm about to go in here real quick. I might let y'all tune in a little bit. 